What's up everybody, Sean Kurtz with Fitjits. I wanted to do a video today about the six things that you should do if you're starting jujitsu. Now, me personally, I recommend jujitsu to everyone, no matter your ability, your disability, your gender, your fitness level. I think that jujitsu has caused such a great just change in my life that I recommend it to everyone I can really talk to. And there's a lot of questions that I get asked regarding, hey, what should I do? When should I start? What should I do my first day? All those sorts of things. So here's six things that I came up with that I think are really important to do uh, if you're thinking about it or you're getting started. So first thing is humble yourself. And I think this is the biggest thing that I learned initially. Um, it There's so much A to learn and B, me being a bigger guy, um, you're going to get your butt kicked a lot. You're going to get butt kicked by smaller guys, by women, by people that know what they're doing. And they've been doing it for the most part a long time. So in jiu-jitsu, there's time and effort that's put into it, which makes it the be one of the best parts. But if you go in there thinking you're a big macho man... And you're gonna just tear the, th the place up. You're gonna people are gonna be so impressed with you. That you're you're picking the wrong thing, and I'm telling you, it's gonna serve in your best interest if you take a step back. Know that you're probably gonna get your butt kicked a lot. Like not just the first day, not the first month, not the first year. Like several years, and and honestly, I, I say that not to scare you. But just to know that people train for a long time and you're not going to go on the first day and be a world beater. It's just not going to happen. So first thing is be humble. Second thing is be clean. Please, 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 please be clean. Don't go in there if you haven't showered in a few days. The last thing you want to be known as is the stinky person. I uh, Trust me. Stinky people get called out, and especially in the world of martial arts and jiu-jitsu, they have no problem calling you out and making you feel embarrassed because really cleanliness, when you're in such close quarters with someone, when you're grappling and grabbing and holding on to people, uh, your, hi your personal hygiene is going to come into question a lot. You're going to leave there stinky. So if you show up stinky then you have no chance. The, the people are going to avoid you. They're going to avoid rolling, especially if it's your first day, week, month, or you're just starting and you're like, hey, I don't really shower before I go, or huh, I don't know when the last time I showered or took a bath was. Those are problems that you need to fix before you go into a purple belt on Amazon and thought that was the right thing to do. Get a nice white belt, get a nice white key, something that's going to be worth my first gi i'm just hand to god what happened was i got a discount gi i'm a like i said i'm a bigger guy about 225 and i ripped the pants off that gi right in the middle of class about three months in and i couldn't have been more embarrassed so i can't tell you enough get a nice gi put the money in because you're going to want to spend some money in order to keep going and make yourself feel good now if it's no gi that is more the traditional there's you know, it's, it's more of a workout attire. Um, so there's no traditional outfit. You're still going to have to obviously wear clothes, workout shirt, shorts. I, I, I've gone and work out you just a traditional cotton shirt and, and, uh, you know, workout shorts, um, no shoes, obviously, but, um, I think it's really important to get that rash guard, get a nice rash guard you find on the internet. I'll put some stuff in the description, some links in the description that show, where to go um some nice online stores that can that can provide this stuff for you um so you don't have to search all over the internet trying to find it but i'm telling you get the right gear so you feel good going into it and you're not you know messing around or, or you're in a gi class and you don't have a gi and you're the only person with no gi and it's kind of awkward now if you're just kind of still feeling it out you could obviously People, most gyms are accepting of, of new first day people and not having a gi. But if you're going consistently or you want to plan on going consistently, 
purchase the gi, purchase the rash guard, purchase the proper things that are going to, you know, put you in the best position. Number four is pay attention and pay respect. This kind of goes back to our first discussion or our first point of be respectful and be uh, and humble yourself. And jujitsu has a tradition and you, it's just like any other martial art. You pay respect to your superiors and you're respectful to the people around you. Don't go in there and think that you're better than the tradition. Meaning you see people bowing in and off the mat. Bow in and off the mat. You see people bowing to the instructor or the professor. Bow to the professor. Thank the people around you. Thank thank the higher belts or the people that have been doing it for longer time than you or helping you. That is going to pay dividends down the road. And you might even, you know, this is a community that you're entering. In. So the point is, is to be nice to the people that you're help or that you're going with and to really make sure that you're being the best person that you can be. You're, you're trying to put a good first impression out there. Don't be um, someone different. You know, try to try to fit in as much as possible. I know that's, you know, sounds funny to say, but as much as possible, try to be respectful. Try to be respectful to the gym, the people above you, and the people around you. Number five, my personal suggestion is participate in everything. Right off the bat, first day. That means, obviously, the warm-ups, right? Don't skip the warm-ups. Don't show up late. Two... Obviously, there's going to be a uh, training. Uh, a, a, they're going to teach technique. You're not going to know anything. If you're completely new to this, you're not going to know anything. That's fine. Train the technique as best you can. Someone will help you. Find someone that will help you. If the professor doesn't set you up with someone that will help you, find someone that will help you. Because I'm sure there will be volunteers, as there always is, to help the new people. That is part of the jiu-jitsu tradition is to help the people that are coming in and learning and i'm telling you there's there's i the amount of times that i've been and i've had first day people myself and i've talked to them and i've trained with them and i've tried to help them through the first understanding i'd say this jiu-jitsu is like a language and your first your first belt your white belt you're just learning words so you're just learning setups you're learning the names of positions, sparring. So there will be live rolling at the end. The, almost always. I, I, I haven't been to a facility that doesn't do live rolling at the end of class. Participate in live rolling. Now, what does that mean? It could be something different. If you feel completely comfortable, you could tell the person across from you, hey, I kind of know what I'm doing. Let's go for it, and you're going to get tapped a hundred times, uh, or they'll probably be nice to you and not do that. But it's I'm a I'm a big jump in the deep end and learn how to swim kind of guy. So I say jump in the deep end from day one because that's the only way you're really going to learn. And that's a big difference between jujitsu and other martial arts is that there's live sparring every day, live sparring every day, and the way you get good at live sparring is you live spar you roll with you roll with people that are better than you the people that are the same as you and you know you figure it out at the end and then lastly number six and i think this might be the most underrated point i make be gentle and be kind two things that i think a lot of white belts think they go into jiu-jitsu and maybe first day, first month, first six months, year. They call it the white belt spaz. And that is, I'm going to use as much energy. And the other person is coming at me. I'm going to just, oh, I'm going to get after him. And really, it's just not the way you should go about it. A, because you burn all your energy out. And B, because... 
you know, it just isn't the right technique. Now, I'm not saying you're going to not know technique. I'm not saying you're not going to burn out. But if you go in there and you start grinding your forearms into people's faces, you start tearing, you know, rubbing your whatever, your knee into someone's groin, you start trying to be mean, people are going to be mean back. And you might not like when people are mean back. And trust me, I learned the hard way. I thought I was, you know, I'm telling you all this from a from a point of experience. I was that guy that came in and I thought I could learn it quickly. I thought I could figure this out. I thought I was really good. I went with like some like brand new people too and I was beating them. And I got humbled. And the only thing that really saved me is that I wasn't a complete jerk. And they kind of took it easy on me at the end because I wasn't trying to just smash people and hurt them or anything like that. This isn't a game of hurting people. This is a game of learning and growing together and making those steps together. And you put those all together and when you go into a competition and then you can be a little mean, a little nasty and a little hard, right? But enrolling at the gym, you're new, take it easy. Don't be, don't be mean. Be kind, be gentle, and that's my sixth point. So let me know if you think I've missed anything. Uh, I gave you one through six, and I'm sure there's so many more points. If, if you have any suggestions for someone that's going and trying to be a new white belt or they're just getting started or they're thinking about getting started, um, put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear more from you. Tell me what I missed. Tell me what I I didn't do right or didn't say right. I'm sure I didn't say right a lot of things right. Uh, I'd love to hear more about it. I'll put those uh, links in the description below. And thanks so much. I really, really appreciate your guys' time.